Hello everyone, welcome to 417 of Laravel 9 series in which we are cutting the multi vendor e commerce website. So, in this video, we are going to protect our account routes with auth middleware. So, we are going to work on Laravel routes protection in this video. So, I want to show you like uh, in the last video, we have worked on the uh, account pages and uh, you can see those account pages. I'm going to show you like if we log in. Uh, we can able to assess those account pages like uh, if I am going to log in with any of the account uh, like this one last one I am going to log in with this account and you know, one two three four five six and I'm going to log in and see here uh, I can assess the account page right now because I have logged in okay so this is the user account you can see the URL uh, slash user slash account so if i logged out then i don't expect that this page can be assessed by anyone but what's happening here see if i'm going to assess this in another window i'm going to open one more window one private window okay so i'm going to open this one and i'm going to copy this route okay and going to paste here so i have not logged in in this browser and now i'm going to want to assess this one and you can see the error is coming because we have not given any kind of uh, uh, means condition in which uh, it will tell the user that you need to log in so we uh, so so they uh, so this is the kind of error uh, like uh, we need to tell the user that you are not logged in so you can't assess this page so we need to protect such routes see this error is uh, not looking good at all and it is not safe a, a, at all it is not secure at all okay you can see the all information is uh, uh, enabled here the uh, the user can able to assess every information of the website uh, of, of the server okay so uh, we need to protect uh, these kind of pages uh, logged in pages uh, that comes uh, within the auth okay so this is possible with the help of the auth routes i'm going to show you like in web.php uh, like uh, we used to protect the routes in admin you can see we used to protect the routes in admin uh, with the middleware with the admin middleware you can see here and now for the front we have not done any kind of middleware but every time with the auth one middleware auth is already there that can prevent uh, that that can prevent the uh, front routes okay so uh, i am going to uh, i want to prevent the account pages route and i'm going to see here uh, user account where it is uh, user account uh, i'm going to search for the user account see here it is you update password user account so these route i want to protect okay these two routes i want to protect see these route must only be accessible if the user is logged in along with the other routes as well like the checkout page route that we are going to work on future when the user add the proxy in the card and will go to the checkout page then user must log in only then he can able to assess the checkout page and other pages as well like the orders page user order page okay those pages also uh that uh, uh that we need to protect so for this one uh, we can do here one thing uh we will create the route group here okay like we used to create earlier also we will create the route group in this we are going to mention the middleware okay so we have the uh auth that is the default middleware given by the laravel okay or we have not created this middleware so just uh, we are required to add this auth like this and after that function okay function we can do it like this okay so this uh, this uh, uh, syntax we need to add and we need to move these routes that we want to protect okay that we don't want uh, that unauthorized user can able to assess these routes okay so these routes we will bring inside these braces uh, under this route middleware auth group okay and now we are going to see that i'm going to refresh now see it is taking the user to the login page but this is not the login page that we have built up this is the default login page of the laravel so for this one uh, we need to update the authenticate.php file 
so uh, there is the another login page if we log out like if i log out from here uh, we need to send the user to the login page login register page uh, we want to send the user to this page so this page must come if the user is not logged in and try to access the account page then this page must come by default login register page okay so uh, for redirecting the user to the login register page here this one we can comment and uh, we will here uh give the uh redirect like we are going to redirect the user if the user is not logged in we will send the user to this page user login register okay so this is the page and like this okay uh, but he will not go like this because uh see this login uh for this login we need to define our uh, user login register page as well see now whatever we have done uh, now still if the user will try to uh, user account i am going to try that user account uh, still it is going here to this page because uh, uh, we need to define we need to send the user to this page and there is by default uh, thing in laravel that laravel automatically sending the user to the login page so for this one we need to make the name of this route as login so see these kind of things there is the another series of routing that you can follow uh, for the deeper knowledge of uh, these routes okay we can name the routes as well uh, okay in, in that i have explained that how to name the routes but here i'm going to name this route as login so that uh, this route will work in place of the default login route of laravel okay uh, so here I'm going to mention it like this here. I'm going to mention as As here login so this route I want that this route will be picked as the uh, Login route okay of the laravel. Okay here. I am going to mention it like this uses then here like this Okay, so this is the thing that we are going to do. Okay, so now here I want to end it like this and now i'm going to try i'm going to try this one account user and now once again i'm going to try with that one the same thing i'm going to do and i'm going to do like admin user like this okay so still the error is coming uh, so this is not the route this our route is user account okay you can see the login register page is coming uh, if i will put the correct route okay now you can see i'm going to try it here in this browser uh, like uh, if I am not logged in and I will try to assess the account page here if I will try to assess the account page it uh, we can't able to assess the account page because it is bringing us back to the login register page because for assessing the account page we need to log in first otherwise it will not come at all okay so uh, I will try to log in now then the account page the user can able to assess okay see here I'm going to log in uh, with the password okay after that the user can able to assess the account page okay you can able to assess the account page okay but if the user directly want to assess the account page then it is not possible like uh, once again if the user directly want to assess the account page then it is not possible it will take the user to the login register page so this is the thing that we want okay we have defined this route as the login because login is the predefined configuration in the laravel that if the if the user not logged in that he will uh, send the user to the login route so we have uh, updated the name of this route as login so that we can send the user to this route okay in place of that uh, that default route of uh, of laravel we will send the user to the, the, this route okay so i hope that this is very much clear to you you can do uh, this uh, auth metable group at your end uh, and if you will find any issue, you can surely contact me. Okay, so that's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.